Hi everyone, this is the look for today's tutorial. I thought it'd be fun to show you the finished look so you can actually see what's in store. Because um, there's a few different parts to this, um, this tutorial. It's not just hair, it's also makeup. And you're gonna see how I make that wing um, with my guest today, Linda Hay. We're gonna be doing a, um, a Zoom chat because we're still social distancing. And um, she's gonna, she was nice enough to offer to show me how to do that, how that wing eyeliner properly, not how I would have done it without her for sure. Um, so Bridget Bardot, I'm sure you've all heard of her. She was a huge film star. She kind of revolutionized how we thought about women on the screen. I mean, she was so risque for the time. She was, you know, sort of quite provocative kind of bikinis. And at the time in the US, you didn't, bikinis were kind of a no-no. So anyway, so she brought all that onto the scene, um, but in her very French way. At the time in the 60s in England, they were doing very rigid kind of bouffants. It was very like mod hairstyles, which actually I would love to do for you. So I will do at some point, but they were much more structured and much more serious. And then um, Bridget Bardot, she, um, hers was much more kind of messed up, you know, and it was much more like sexy and had movement. So I thought that would be super fun. But the reason I, I obviously, I mean, she's just an amazing pop icon. So, you know, she's in your mind all the time when you're in fashion, but, and she was incredibly beautiful as well. Um, but the other reason too was I was walking through, um, I was actually in Paris like a year and a half ago, I think it was for the couture shows. And I was lucky enough to get a day off and everyone talks about the flea markets in Paris. So I really wanted to go. So I took the day and I found the flea markets, you know, got on the, on the, on the train and found the flea markets. And you just kind of walk around and just take it all in. There's, there's furniture, there's antiques, there's jewelry, there's, there's clothes, there's just everything. And I stumbled across this photograph, um, which I just fell in love with because it's just such a beautiful image, a black and white image. It's just so chic, so French. And obviously I was in France at the time, so everything was just kind of going together. So I put it kind of in the vault of, of your like, like when I'm gonna, just, just, just all the information that you kind of gather on your travels that you're gonna recreate at some point. So I wanted to share that with you today. Um, so this is, this is, this is my version. Um, so, yeah, and also the other thing too is she, she, I kind of picked this top because it just felt right because it's a little 50s, but then when I was actually sort of researching her as well, there is actually the, the Bardo neckline because people named it after her because she always had these kind of like off the shoulder kind of neckline, like everything was just super sexy and loose. The first part of this tutorial is Linda and I on Zoom and she's gonna take us through this, the makeup and I'm gonna do the makeup. So I'm gonna show you that now. And then after that, I'm gonna come back and I can show you, and then I'm gonna get into the hair and show you the hair. All right, so enjoy the tutorial and we'll be back with hair in a little bit. Hi. How are you, you doing? doing? You've seen the inspiration picture, right? Just as a loose inspiration. Richie Bardot. Right. Who's? I like. Yeah, perfect, okay. And obviously I'm totally inept, you know. I will say that you're actually choosing to do what I personally consider one of the most difficult things to do. So I, I take it through a few steps, mm -hmm. um, just to make it simple. Okay. Um, so there are two ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. There's a complicated way, which is the way I prefer, because that's a way that will actually give you longevity with your eyeliner. It will last longer during the day and you won't need to maintain it. So I basically start with an eye pencil. Okay. And then I smudge it a tiny little bit with a very sharp brush and some okay. powder. Okay. So that basically gives me a foundation. And then the last step is to use the liquid liner over the top. Okay. I prefer to do it this way because then it gives me sort of wiggle room to make mistakes. Sound, that sounds great. As soon as you put this on, this is really, you know, I mean, it's tough to get off. It's tough to move. It's tough, you know, to rearrange. You can, but it's, I just find it easier if you actually have basically a rough line. Okay. You can use brown. You can use any color you like. But, okay. So I'm going to do black. And just so you know as well, mm -hmm. You and I never wear makeup, so this right. is the first, and I just, I'm, I'm equal, I'm as interested to see how this works as you. It's a good um, experiment, right? It's, yeah. Right. 
you want to find the point that you're going to go to. This is how I do it. Yeah. Everyone does it differently. I'm sure. Right. Away, but this is how I do it. I will find, like, I'll look straight. And when I'm asking a client, I'll ask them to look, you know, straight at my face. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because then I can find that point. So if you, like, is there, like, a place in my eye that I should kind of, like, does it go from, like, the middle, like, that point in my eye there? The corner of my eye is here. And then the point... I think it should go to is here a little bit higher. Okay. And the reason that I do that spot is because it's um, counterintuitive. Like if you close your oh, eyes. Oh, let me see, see you like that. Okay. Like when you when you have a look. Mm -hmm. There's no way if you were doing a line that you would probably go up to here or here. But when your eyes are open... Yeah, because that looks scary. It looks like it's going to be really high, but it's... Yeah, okay. It's going to be way up. So... So I should just go, like, where the point of my eye is and then maybe just sort of slightly yeah, higher. Up a little bit. Just like yeah. there. That feels like that's probably okay. Right. And again, just a tiny spot because... Okay. Is that too big? Yeah. No, no, it looks good. That's good. Okay, let me try and get the same on the other side. Symmetry is really, that's a complicated thing too. And sometimes you have to adjust slightly for your different eyeballs. I'm gonna go a little bit lower, I think, on that one. Let me see. Love. Okay, okay. good. Now, just very gently hold the skin. Yep, so hold it. Okay. So look down your nose, mm -hmm. gently hold that. Mm-hmm. Okie doke. Yeah. Let me try that. Just down to the corner. Okay, let me get rid of that. And then start filling in that little triangle. So I go a slightly bit higher. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> Especially with these mirrors <laughs> and I'm blind as a bat. Okay, so then just go in, you, keeping it as close to your lash line. Oh, you're going across now, okay. Yeah, you should get it. And it's not going to be, it's not going to be super neat um, with the pencil. That's okay. Just your, your kind of your basis. I chose it the brown one because I figured maybe I'm not, it's, I'm not going to be so good at it, so it will look a bit softer maybe. Brown's great. It's okay. a really nice color. It's you know, and it's more like daytime and easier. Okay. Black is good. You know, it's a little more drama. Did you go? You went all the way across. All the way across. Take it right to the inside point. You know what I'm finding difficult is getting it right next to my eyelashes. I think I'm a bit nervous to like dig it into my eyelashes, but I think you I have to. to. You've got to go right. Yeah. I just find that once you put the liquid on, it, it gets very, you know, it's kind of a commitment. This right. Is, so, Let me I'm see. going to do... Are you going over it a bit more? Well, I'm just going to take that line. My line looks like it goes a little, yours is a bit straighter. I feel like mine goes like down and then peaks up. Because I'm a trained professional. Well, that might be the difference. Because look, look at mine. See what I've done? No, it's good. Is it okay? Yeah, no, it's great, okay. actually. I'm just going over it, making it a bit thick, like stronger now, because I think I've got the... Um, you could use that uh, the other end to smudge it a little if you wanted. You don't have to. Should I try? Why not? See, this is, this is where I kind of cheat. Yep. Because if I... This is a great, the Charlotte Tilbury um, black pencil is amazing because once it's on, it just doesn't smudge. I'll do the other one. One eye is always easier than the other. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is it, 
more so when you get the liquid liner on, uh-huh. because once the liner goes on, just you have to you know stay basically looking down your nose. Okay. So because if you open your eyes, obviously when the liner oh. is fresh, you're going to get a horrible smudge in your uh, in the socket area. Okay. Ready for liquid? I I think so. The thing about the liquids is that quite often they they dry out as you're doing it. So you kind of have to keep okay. the lid on and keep, you know, sort of play with it a little bit. Right. So I'm gonna go in, oh my God, this is so hard. I'm starting at the very top kind of. Yeah, I always, a lot of people like to start on the inside and go out, mm-hmm. I, I do the reverse. point I would I'd be you know this is a point that you would put a false eyelash on yes right and in that look then obviously there is a false eyelash so it's it's not like we're gonna have exactly that look because that's another tutorial yes false eyelashes that'll be there I think we did good yeah we did (laughs) thank you so much Thank you so much to Linda for her patience and her wonderful instruction for that tutorial. Now I can get on with the hair, which is of course the piece, the part of it that I'm more comfortable with, right? Now what are you going to need for this tutorial? My hair's still short, so I'm going to use some hair pieces. Um, the two that you've already seen from the from the knots that I did. So these two I'm going to reuse. I also have a weft of hair here, so um, if I need a little bit more hair for bulk, I will add that. Um, this is an interesting thing, a donut for to add some bulk through the back and I'll show you how I use that. Um, my favorite teasing brush, there's going to be a fair amount of teasing with this look. Bobby pins, combs, brushes and for the final touch I'm going to use one of these. Uh, Lalette New York have um, loaned me some of their hair ornaments so I have a really beautiful pattern um, hairband. I have one with Um, with the little um, pearls onto and then a couple of bows as well so we'll see we'll see how it goes and which one kind of works with with the look you know me I love to like air dry my hair and not use too much heat if I don't have to so I put both those products in and then I literally just pushed it back so it's been like this now for a while because we did all the makeup tutorials so I put a couple of bobby pins in the back because I have all these very short pieces in the back and that was just as it was drying to start them sort of lifting up because for this look they are going to need to be up and I will add a bit more product put it in a ponytail so basically that is kind of how it is when I get open that all up trying to think through this methodically when you look at a picture like that you're sort of um oh how did they do it well obviously I wasn't there so I don't know how exactly how they did it and a lot of people will approach this look slightly differently so there's no right or wrong it's just a case of getting your interpretation of that look. So thinking about it methodically, I felt like it'd be a good idea to just, this doesn't have to be exact, but just to get the front area sectioned away so that I can concentrate on the back and adding the hair into the back. Um, So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna section this off. So two knots just to keep this front area separate. And then another thing that I want to do too is I want to save some of this hair on top here, my hair. Um, So when I finish with the the ponytail, this will actually come over the top with the rest. I think it's going to make sense as as I do it. So I'm just going to section this off in exactly the same way as I did with the rest and just keep that separate from from the rest of the hair as we're as we're going along um so that's kind of how i'm going to do that now i'm going to turn around and i will do the the ponytail because essentially it is just a high ponytail with all that extra hair added to it and a fair amount of teasing <laughs>
So now I'm actually gonna tease all this extra hair that I've put into the ponytail, um, which will then, and then when I release my hair, then it will all sort of become one. <laughs> Okay, so now which um, hair ornament should I use? These are so beautiful. Um, we could have super fun and do the bow, which is a little bit more like the inspiration um, from the picture. That's super cute. Obviously the rest of it I still have to fix, but um, I just thought getting in the hair piece would kind of be, this one is also gorgeous, right? And then you can lift these pieces out here just to give you a little bit more texture through that front area. Um, I think just because it's a little bit of a 60s vibe, I'm kind of loving the patent leather. So um, I think let's try this one. Let's see how this one goes. Yeah, I, I mean, they're all beautiful. You could pick whichever one you wanted, but I, I kind of love the way this is looking. And then as I said, you can definitely give yourself a little, rough this up a little bit so you get a little bit more texture into the front there. Okay, so this is the final result. It's really kind of all about that profile. That big bump in the back there. Not too precious, not too perfect, because remember we're not going for the beehive, we're going for the tossled French version, Bridget Bardot version. I hope you like it, give it a try, let me know how it goes, be well.